Hi, I'm Leslie Meredith with Breakbulk Events and Media. I'm here in Houston at Breakbulk Americas with my colleague and friend, Peter Buis, um, who's just finished um, an exhibitor presentation um, about technology, about his company, uh, specifically Excels. Yes. So we're so happy to have you here. Um, tell us a little bit about Excels, because that's new to our North American market. It is, and thank you for uh, for this interview, Leslie. Um, yeah, it is new. Um, Excels, uh, again, it's a project logistics management company, and what we have done in, within Excels is utilize the technology that's out there at the moment. We've developed a platform of our own, and with that platform, we streamline the whole processes uh, from A to Z. So we're taking out a little bit the freight forwarder type of work which is done at the moment, the tra traditional work, and we're going in there more as a consultancy company almost. Interesting, so in the supply chain or in a project um, configuration, does that eliminate the freight forwarding? Uh, it could eliminate freight forwarding altogether. Uh, again, freight forwarding as we know it, because a lot of freight forwarders are doing a portion of project logistics management. Uh -huh. Except uh -huh. we took it a little, uh, one step further, and we said no. We have to really start at the beginning at the shipper's house to uh, sit with the engineers and designers, and from that point on, try to utilize our technology and our uh, know-how and expertise to maybe tweak designs to make it easier to also ship throughout the whole process. Because that all doesn't always yeah. work right. No, it doesn't right? always work Sometimes right. Sometimes just a piece being slightly too large can Correct. severely impact. Well, the, I use it in one of my trainings always that uh, uh, something that's three inches too wide can cost you 900,000. And it has happened uh, for the simple reason that engineers uh, did change it, engineers didn't or weren't asked, I'm not saying it's their fault, they weren't asked to minimize certain uh, measurements. And so, so it, it can happen, mm -hmm. yes. So it sounds to me like you are really providing a continuous communication change, a continuous data flow through the yep. entire life cycle of a project. Everything that happens within the project goes back into the platform. And the platform is the backbone of the whole project. And that means that everything that happens, any communication that is needed, any documentation that's uh, uh, available goes into that platform, into the right place in the platform. With other words, if somebody updates that, all stakeholders get an alert. So if something needs to happen tomorrow, they also get an alert before it happens. Remember, this is what we do tomorrow. And That's it goes to great. the customer, and it goes to our people, it goes to everybody that needs to know. That is great. So there are no excuses is. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great too. That's great. Uh, yeah, so it sounds to me like you are really sort of reining in, if you will, or managing all of this data that's out there. We hear so much talk of big data, mm -hmm. but not so much of the application. And it sounds like you've solved that problem. Yeah, big data is great. Big data can be very useful in certain industries. I'm not convinced yet it's gonna be something for project logistics because projects are continuously changing. They have a specialized demand. Uh, so even after 10 years collecting data, the next project might be totally different and all that data is nice to have and I'm sure there is a use for it, but not always directly into a project. And what we have done is we bring everything in this platform. Yes, we do keep that information in the background because at some point we will be able to do some sort of predictability within the project, but that's on project level. And if we have several projects of a customer, we might be able to line up certain parts of that project and in order to make it more efficient and of course save money. Sounds and that goes good. directly back to the customer. Sounds good, we love that. Thank okay. you so much for explaining that. Thank Peter. you, Leslie.